Okay. Hi guys, um, I'm Sam, and today I'm going to show you how to curl your hair using a flat iron. Um, as you can see, I have about almost all of it done, kind of. I just have the top part um, to do. It's going to be really, really easy. Um, sorry. Ha. Okay, um, now all you have to do is basically separate your section of hair up here. I already have like a square sectioned off. Um, and I'm just going to separate it right here. Right, yeah. That's a good, um, that's kind of a lot of hair. Um, you don't want your sections to be too big or else you're going to get like barrel curls. Um, unless you want barrel curls, but then it would depend on how big your flat iron is. I'm using a two inch or like a one and a half. I left my one inch somewhere. I gotta go find that. <laughs> um, then I'm just gonna get a comb. I'm gonna kind of like brush through it. And you're gonna need um, a hair scrunchie to like separate it. And then um, let's say if I were to like have like a straight line or something that we don't have to like cut chunks out. Um, you want like a bobby pin just to like be able to pin half of it. And then um, I'm gonna get my flat iron. I'm just gonna grab it and like twist it around, like flip it over, and then just kind of pull on it out like that. Um, and you can see the root really got, got it, and then the rest of it didn't. Um, so you're just going to kind of redo that. My root keeps getting it. So then you kind of just twist and pull like that, and then you have a curl, like so. Okay. Um, so now that you've seen that, and now you can kind of like place it where you want it to go. Um, then you just, sorry, my hair's going to fall. Um, then we just do the rest. So you start here. Sorry, I'm like going off the camera. It's just like my mirror is not behind it or anything, so I can't see what I'm doing. Okay, that's another really good piece. And then you get your hair scrunchie. sheet. You tie it like that. And then, I know, I like using it for my bangs personally, so I would just like get my bangs or whatever and then pin it back like so. And then you get your hair. Um, that one I did going back, so this one I'm going to go um, forward and I kind of have to like move my hand to adjust to it and then you just kind of, again, twist and pull like that. And then you have your curl. See? It's really easy. Um, this is probably like the second time I've done it. Um, the first time was like for school because I wanted to try something different. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really easy. I have naturally curly hair too. Um, so I ended up like straightening it out this morning just so um, you could see how it would look. Because I'm not going to like curl my hair if it's already curly. I just think that'd be like kind of pointless. And then this one I'm going to cut it. I'm going to twist it forward like so, and then I'm going to pull it out like that. And then you get another crop. Then you get like another part or whatever, and you can go backwards with it, or do whatever you want. Sort of thing like that. It's really hot in here. Sorry. Um, you can probably like, no you probably can't. You can't see like the sweat on my brow or anything. Um, and then do another like side section. You want to have more than one bobby pin. Uh, mine are in my room. So, I'm just kind of go like that. And then so I'm going to go back again with it, like so. Why is it working on that hair? I wonder why. There. That's better. And then this one I'm going to bring forward towards my face. Um, I kind of like alternating them, that way they don't kind of seem, um, like professionalized or anything. They kind of seem a little bit more spontaneous, which I always think is good. Spontaneity is really good. Um, especially when your hair, when you're like doing your hair because you don't want it to be too, um, how do I say it? Like, you don't want it to look too like, oh, I've done this or anything like that. Um, so yeah. You don't want it to look too professional, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Okay, I just have my little one, sorry. Um, I'm going to take my body pin out, that way it's kind of, I'll put my veins like that. I got another back piece right here. And then you just tie 
that back. And then you brush this part out again.